Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshal. Tonight, I want to point out some uh, bad news from our ongoing case in the Supreme Court regarding gun rights in New York City and really gun rights everywhere. And I don't want to say the case is going badly because the case is going very well. And I think the outcome is going to be very positive. I just want to point out something that happened during the hearing, uh, during the first day of testimony. They were talking about how whether, well, the state has the right to prevent people from carrying in certain places, of course. And I thought, well, that's going to be something that the constitutionalist judges have a problem with. This was something coming from the actual representative of the state of New York. But uh, oddly, all of the justices, not just the liberals, but the ones on the right also, including the ones appointed recently by uh, Trump, who are supposed to be real constitutionalists, like uh, Amy uh, Coney Barrett and Kavanaugh, they were like, well, of course you can ban carry in certain places. And this actually came out of the mouth of Amy Coney Barrett. This is where she let down the gun community. She said, of course we will all and I'm paraphrasing her here because I didn't want to memorize what she said and I didn't want to write it down because it was kind of gross. But uh, she said, we can all, of course, agree that you can't carry a gun into Times Square on New Year's Eve. And I was like, what? We can all agree that? And they all agreed to that. I'm like, what? And when you heard them talk it out, their reasoning was, well, that's a place where there's lots of people and they're close together and someone might start a fight and we don't want people armed. And I'm like, what? So this is a place where someone might try to victimize something, someone else for some stupid reason. And so we've got to make sure they're unarmed so that the bad guy who tries to hurt them can hurt them and not lose their advantage of size or strength. That made no sense to me. And I don't remember anywhere in the Constitution where it says the uh, Second Amendment, where it says your rights shall not be infringed unless the Supreme Court thinks it's for your go own good you know, or unless they think it could create a possible dangerous situation if guns are present. It says, shall not be infringed. And I just wanted to point this out that she said this, and I want to point out that everyone pretty much agreed with her because I just want everybody to realize these are not constitutionalists. When you thought Trump was appointing constitutionalists or Bush was appointing constitutionalists, or even if you're on the other side and you thought uh, Obama or Clinton were appointing constitutionalists, people who cared about the Constitution, you're wrong. They're appointing uh, corporatists, people that will maintain the political status quo, people who will maintain the economic status quo. That's who they're appointing. And this is a perfect example of that. And there's really not a lot I can say about this other than the fact that that statement alone shows you that they're, well, we believe in the Constitution word for word until we don't, until it better serves the status quo, which serves, of course, the corporations, which own the politicians who choose the justices. So if you're someone out there that thinks either side is uh, appointing people to the Supreme Court for lifetime appointments because they will uphold the law, because they will uphold the Constitution, you're fooling yourselves. They're appointing people that will uh, do what's best for the same wealthy people that pay their salaries once they're on the court. All right, that was pretty quick tonight, so I want to move on here and I want to mention a couple of different things. First off, I want to talk about Kyle Rittenhouse's trial. Well, he is currently on trial, and people are asking me, why haven't you said anything about it yet? Well, uh, so far, I haven't seen anything notable, especially nothing that would change my opinion about what happened or how I feel that he should get off with just minor sentencing on minor charges. Definitely no murder or anything, because I believe that was self-defense. But I haven't seen anything really of any merit yet worthy of actually talking about. As soon as I do, you'll definitely be hearing from me. I'm not one to hold my tongue. So as soon as something happens, We'll have a discussion, maybe by Monday, so just hold your horses. Once something needs to be said, believe me, I'll say it. All right, with that being said, I want to move on now to gun talk. And if you are someone like me that loves Chiaparinos, I got a little bit of a product alert for you tonight. 
because they are now offering the 30DS, which is the three inch Chiapa Rhino, the perfect carry size Chiapa. They are now offering that in the Nebula finish, which was only offered before in the really long one, the six inch gun, which it was kind of hard for me to justify carrying a six inch revolver, even though I loved that finish. And these look awesome. Now I know this finish isn't for everyone and probably a lot of you out there think I'm embarrassing myself by saying I want one of these, uh, which I don't find that embarrassing at all. I don't think saying that embarrasses me. Uh, if I wanted to embarrass myself, I would still, uh, tell you stories like about how I uh, thought I locked myself in my gun safe the other night. It was about 5.30 a.m. I finished editing some videos. I went to leave and on the outside is the keypad and everything, but on the inside is just the lever. So I go to leave it won't move. Handle won't move. I'm like, holy fuck. I have bought a cheap ass door. It's broken. I should have spent more on the door. I was afraid this was going to happen when I bought the cheaper door. Now I'm stuck in my safe. I'm going to die in here. Uh, so I started thinking, well, am I going to be able to call somebody to come let me out? Hopefully it still works from the outside. But then I'm like, well, it's 530 in the morning and I don't have my phone. I'm like, well, I could text somebody because my computer's in here. So I thought, well, I'll text one of the boys. But then I'm like, oh, it's 5.30 in the morning. Uh, no one's going to answer their texts at 5.30 in the morning. But luckily it was a weeknight. So I'm like, well, Caden gets up at 6 a.m. So I'll just stay in here for a half hour more. Uh, I'll text Caden at 6 a.m. I'll have him come over and let me out. So I'm like, I, I can be okay for half an hour. I'm not going to panic. You know, I'm not going to die in here. Uh, I'm thinking all these things through. I'm kicking myself for not buying the more expensive door. I'm making the plans on how to get out without dying of starvation in there. Uh, and then oh, I remember you turned the handle the other way and I got out. Uh, I'd tell stories like that if I wanted to embarrass myself. Getting old sucks is the moral of that story. But uh, I really want one of these. I think these are awesome looking. The only way I'd be happier is if I made one in a four inch. I kind of want it for those grips alone. Those blue grips are awesome. I'd like to have a pair of those blue grips. Kiapa, if you're listening, I'd like to have a pair of those blue grips. Uh, it's like it's the least you could do for me. I, way I pump the product. Uh, that didn't sound right, but you all know what I mean. But just want to let everyone know, if you've been a fan of the Nebula Finish on the 60 DSs, it's now available on a 30 DS. It's available in a California legal model, which is, I believe, single action only, or is it double action only? It's one of those. I think it's single action. Uh, but remember, you can always buy the little piece afterwards and pay someone to uh, make it double action uh, and single action. It's very easy. I've got a video on that. I'll try to link it in the corner of this video, but that's a possibility. But like I say, they're available now in a three inch model, and I think they look awesome. All right. Now, before we go, I want to remind everybody two things. One, we are doing the rifle giveaway still on Veterans Day. So if you know a veteran that you think deserves a special thank you, go on over to tympistolproject.com. There's a section on the page there that says nominate a veteran. It's the old handgun for hero nomination form. Use that to nominate a veteran you think deserves an extra thank you come this Veterans Day, and they will be registered to win this AR-15 that is being built and donated by Storm and, Norman, uh, Storm and Norman's Gunworks. That's a lot to say there. So go over, nominate your fa favorite veteran, wait till Veterans Day, see if they win. And last but not least, I want to remind everyone that we are now doing Toy Guns for Tots. We are taking donations. We're going to run it all through this month. Then the beginning of next month, we're going to go buy all the toys. If you're not familiar, please go over to tympistolproject.com. You can read a little bit of it there. There's also videos you can look at on here that I've already made that you can see what it's about. But basically, we go out and buy a lot of toy guns around Christmas and donate them to kids in need because the other agencies will not do it. They won't buy toy guns. So we do it. Uh, the first three years have been wildly successful. We filled a cargo van last time with toys and we hope to do even more this year, maybe a box uh, van uh, or a box truck, whatever they call those damn things. Uh, so go on over, help out a kid in need who actually wants a toy gun this year and we'll make a bunch of little future uh, 2A supporters very happy at Christmas time. With your help, with your donation, we will do that. And like I said, hopefully this will be the biggest year yet. So go on over, donate, and then come December 1st, we'll go do the shopping. And with all of that being said, I just want to thank everybody for coming. I hope you come back again on Monday because we don't do shows on the weekends. And until then, I just want to say to everyone out there, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again. <laughs>